Hi, I'm Shelly Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a little bonnet that will fit vintage strawberry shortcake dolls and then any dolls that are similar in head size. But before we begin, please go to my website, ShellyWood.com, to download this free printable PDF sewing pattern. You'll use the pattern to cut out these two pieces from cotton fabric, and you'll also need some ribbon. Now I'm using 3 8 inch or 9 millimeter offre ribbon. You'll also need a little bit of interfacing and some lace trim, which I'll be using, but you don't have to. Lay one cotton bonnet piece on top of another. Now, if you're going to use lace trim, like I will be doing, you'll want to lay it in between the two bonnet pieces, like you see me doing here, along the longest straight edge of the fabric. Pin the lace in place sew the bonnet pieces together along this long edge. You'll need to do this stitch even if you do not want the lace. Open the bonnet up like this and on the wrong side press that seam. Fold the bonnet back so that you're looking at the wrong side again and stitch along the 45 degree angle that you see on one side and then all along the back of the bonnet from that 45 degree angle down to the 45 degree angle on the opposite side. Your bonnet should now look like this. Clip the corners and the seams and invert the bonnet like you see me doing in this next video piece. So I'm clipping those corners, clipping my seams, and then I'm inverting it, turning it right side out. Press the seams, slide the interfacing in between the two pieces, and press again. Take a length of ribbon in your hand, and with the ribbon still attached to the spool, Fold over the raw cut edge of ribbon. Wrap this around the lace, or if you didn't use lace, around the very front edge. Whip stitch the lace around the bonnet's raw edge of fabric, folding it over the raw fabric like bias tape. When you get to the 45 degree angle, then you knot your thread but you need to also continue to whip stitch the ribbon from there, closing it over itself like you see me doing right here. Now when you get close to about five inches of ribbon, you're gonna cut the ribbon free from the spool at the five and a half inch line. Now in metric terms, that's 14 centimeters. Fold over that raw cut edge like you see me doing here and finish whip stitching the ribbon's edge all the way down to the end of the ribbon. You'll want to do this um, for both ties, create two ribbon ties that way. Gather the back of the bonnet, that's the edge opposite of the lace, and I recommend that you try it on the doll while you're working on gathering to make sure that the gathers are really going to fit correctly. Then tie off your gathers. Now fold the lace back to form a cuff and you're ready to try it on your doll. For more free printable sewing patterns, for making doll clothes to fit many dolls of different shapes and all different sizes, please remember to visit my website ShellyWood.com Have you ever thought of a brilliant idea for making doll clothes, but you just didn't know enough about how to design your own patterns? I'm Shelly Wood, the doll clothing designer, and I have a real gift for designing doll clothes that I'd like to share with you. 
In my Creative Spark class, How to Alter Doll Clothes Patterns, I'll introduce you to the basics of doll clothes pattern designs. You will learn how to alter patterns that you already own, how to lengthen and shorten a pants pattern, and how to turn pants into shorts. You'll also learn how to make a skirt more full or less full, and how the fullness of a dress's skirt can affect the fit of a bodice. You'll learn how to design your own waistband for skirts using your doll's measurements. But the real gem of my class is my resizing formula. And trust me, you don't have to be a math whiz to learn how to resize your doll clothes patterns. My formula can be used to make your patterns larger or smaller, depending on what you need. Whether you want to save money on the cost of buying commercial doll clothes patterns, or maybe you're sewing for a doll that you just can't find any patterns for, How to Alter Doll Clothes Patterns will help you design a wardrobe that will fit dolls of any shape or size.